The most common question that I always receive is this, am I qualified to teach in the USA? So in today's video, I am going to share to you what are the basic qualifications for you to be able to join the J1 Exchange visa program and become a teacher here in the USA. To give you the most accurate information, I went to the official website for the J-1 visa, which is the j1visa.state.gov. In the website, you can find lots of information about the J-1 visa and one of these information is who are qualified to be a J-1 teacher. So this is what I'm going to discuss in this video. This one is making a lot of confusion to a lot of teachers, including me. There's a lot of people who are in another country like China, Thailand, Singapore, who wants to be a J1 teacher. Based on what we've heard, it really says that you need to be in your home country at the time of application. But I want to cite an example of a friend of mine who was teaching in Thailand when she applied for a teaching job here in the USA through the J-1 visa program. Now, she was able to come here, yes, last year, even though she was not teaching in the Philippines during her application. I don't know how she was able to do that, but I'm just saying that there might be a possibility that it can be allowed. So again, do not be discouraged. Try to research for more and you can even email agency. Do not close your doors to a recruitment agency because they were able to have a lot of educators. And going to a recruitment agency, though it's expensive, but you have an assurance of a teaching job and they're gonna help you. It's really nice to have a support system to help you when you apply. Because if you do direct hiring just like me, I did everything on my own and I was even hesitant and doubtful about what's my future or if it's really going to be successful, my application, because I had no assurance. I was just trying to apply on my own and I was so happy because God helped me and I was able to secure a job even though I did direct hiring. Again, it doesn't matter if you do the recurring or recruitment agency. If your goal is to become a teacher here in the U.S., well, do whatever you think is right for you. This is the reason that your credentials need to be evaluated before you can apply for certification and even before you can submit your application to a school because they want to make sure that your education in the Philippines is an equivalent degree in the USA. You cannot use your own transcript of records that we have in the Philippines when you apply here you need to have an evaluated credentials. But in my case, when I still applied to the school, I just used my transcript of records because they gave me a lot of consideration. During my time, I evaluated my credentials after I received a job offer, but I was still in the Philippines at that time. So I already evaluated my credentials and I submitted my evaluated credentials to the school and to my sponsoring agency because that's one of the requirements for the J-1 visa. These evaluated credentials will also needed when you apply for teaching certification. Teaching experience is really important here. The minimum requirement for a J-1 teacher is only two years, but the more experience you have, the better. Remember, the school will still be the one to decide if they're going to hire you. And most schools here prefer 
teachers with longer experiences. So if you are still finding an opportunity to teach here, continue gaining more experience because that will really help you when the time will come that you are already ready to come here and teach in the USA. This is also very important that you will satisfy the requirements or qualification for the state that you're applying. For example, I am in Arizona, so there are a set of qualification for you to be certified. So you need to have a bachelor's degree that is aligned to the position that you are teaching. For example, I am a first grade teacher, so I need to have an early childhood certificate for K to three. So that's the certificate that I am eligible to get because I have a bachelor's degree in elementary education. I have a master's degree in early childhood education and I have a teaching experience in early childhood setting because I've been a first grade and kindergarten teacher for almost for 10 years now. Yes, that's how old I am. <laughs> so it's important, that's why I always repeat this, it is important that your qualification is aligned to your teaching experiences. Um, there are people that they have different education degree and different teaching experience. I always tell them like, try to take up units in education that will back up your teaching experience. For example, you your bachelor's degree in secondary education, but you are teaching in preschool or in kindergarten. My suggestion is to take up early childhood education units, minimum is 30 units, so that you will be qualified to teach primary students. Of course, this is very important. When I applied here, I did get an NBI clearance to make sure that my criminal record is clean and I am in a good character and good reputation. One of my subscribers asked me this question, can I just be an assistant teacher and apply for the J-1 visa? Well, the answer is no. To become a J-1 teacher, you need to have a job offer for a full-time classroom teaching. So that's one of the most important requirements. So make sure that the school will offer you a full-time teaching position. When I applied as a teacher here in the USA, I was not asked to do IELTS exam or any English proficiency examinations. Um, in my transcript, it was mentioned there that the mode of instruction during my college degree is English. So that, so that was accepted during my time. But now I am hearing that they are requiring for you to submit a certificate that you are proficient in English. One of my friends used um, the document that he got from DepEd. Remember, when you go to DepEd, there will be an English proficiency test. So you can ask for a copy of the result that will prove how proficient you are in the English language. If you want to do IELTS exam, well, that is also perfect. Okay, it's better to get that if you want. But again, it is not required. As of right now, you just need to have a certificate that will prove that you have passed a certain English proficiency test. So that's it for today guys thank you so much for watching i hope that the questions about qualifications are now clear 
and I know that you are excited and ready to apply, please don't forget to check out my other videos about how to apply as a teacher in the USA and how to start your J1 teaching application. So thank you so much once again for supporting my channel. Thank you guys and I hope that you will always keep safe and see you in my next video. Bye!